I'm John Bell Edwards. I was raised in Amy, Louisiana as one of eight children. He, he was always a, a very good student. Uh, he was valedictorian of his high school. He, he went on to West Point. He was on the dean's list. When John Bell was in the fourth grade, we received a letter from his teacher telling us that he was a born leader and he could really lead the other children in the class. He tutored. He helped in the classroom, outside the classroom. I started dating John Bell when I was in ninth grade. He was in 10th and he was the captain of the football team and the pitcher for the baseball team. His participation in athletics really helped develop his leadership qualities. I knew that he had applied for West Point, knew that was something he wanted to do. I was also smart enough to know that the odds, you know, of any one individual getting accepted into a military academy is certainly uh, not good. It was one of the proudest days of my life when I heard that John Bell had been accepted at West Point. West Point is recognized around the world as one of the premier leadership development institutions uh, anywhere. The Honor Code at West Point is one of the distinguishing features that sets it apart from any other institution in the world. We had uh, an honor committee, and each class would elect from their peers their honor, their company honor representative. There was no doubt in my mind that the person with the most integrity in the room was John Bell Edwards. Well, after I graduated West Point, I started Ranger training, being a company commander of a rifle company, 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, was a tremendous uh, opportunity for me to grow as an individual to serve my country. I think faith plays a central role in John Bell's life. He will be at church uh, every week uh, with his wife and with his children. It's extremely important to us to give that faith to our children. We pray together at lunch, breakfast, and supper. Even when we're on vacation, he always makes sure that we find out where the nearest church is and what time the Mass will be. Some Sundays we can't even sit together because we're each doing a part of them in the Mass. I would say John Bell's best qualities are his integrity and how he adheres to his values. He's honest, he's sincere. I really think he, he chose a life of public service because it's who he is. He loves to help people and he gives back constantly. John Bell fights for all of the people. For our students and our teachers. He fights for those people who don't have access to health care. Uh, he fights uh, for those people who want to open, you know, a small business. He is for anybody who's in need. He said, you know, somebody has to be a lobbyist for the single mother. I try to fight for those people who don't have lobbyists at the legislature. And all too often it's the middle class who are being squeezed, squeezed with tuition, squeezed with fees, uh, squeezed with taxes. Uh, and so we have to continue to fight for the middle class. We need a governor that will put Louisiana first. My dad will be a governor that puts Louisiana first. John Bell will be the governor who puts Louisiana first.